All right, so I've gotten some good response on that blog I wrote about uh, taking your Google Form surveys and turning them into word clouds. So I thought I'd do a little video just to kind of put the steps in order and get it out there for the visual people. All right, um, first thing you need to do is create a form. And when you create the form, one of the suggestions I made was when you ask for responses, um, don't leave it like a free form paragraph type of thing because you really want to get like a focused hit on your words. And so I'd suggest, you know, I put three to five words here. Um, you might need five to ten. Whatever is a good manageable number for you. So first create the form and uh, send that out to the people you need to respond. The next thing you do is uh, you start collecting responses. And uh, this is the sample. I've taken the names out of the students that, that gave these examples. But here are the responses um, in these two columns. And so what you're going to want to do here is you want to try and find some of the uh, topics that are aligned but might not be spelled all the same way. So the example I put in the blog was um, challenge or be challenged. So like in this example here where it says challenged and I've got challenging over here, I would want to take these and I would like to keep them the same, use the same language so that whenever you make the word cloud, it um, kind of represents those concepts a little bit more powerfully. The other thing you want to do is look for phrases that uh, make sense together, like for example, meet people, hands-on, new people, um, hands-on again. What you want to do is to prep it for wordle use, you want to put this little um, symbol in between, I forget what that thing's called, uh, but put that symbol between and what that'll do is when you make the word cloud, word, wordle will uh, recognize that as a phrase and keep it together and won't split it apart. All right, so you've got your responses here. You've got a bunch of responses, and you want to go ahead and put it into a word cloud. You've edited it out so that it'll be uh, more powerful. Next thing you want to do is you want to take and delete the columns that you're not going to use. So I'm just going to use this as an example. I'll delete these columns. I'm going to delete these col columns so that the only column I've got left is the one that I want to pull from. Once you've got that left, you go to File. Uh, download as, make a PDF. This is the box you want to uncheck. Um, you want to uncheck it because if you repeat the headers every time, then you'll have to copy and paste three or four separate times depending on how many pages you've got. So uncheck that, it'll make it easier to copy and paste. Click export, it'll create a PDF for you. Uh, next you want to go ahead and get your Wordle started. So I'm just going to go here real quick, hit create box to paste in. Come over to my uh, PDF file, drag down all the way down. When you get down to the bottom, uh, click copy. Pop on over to your Wordle, paste it in there, and you go. There you go. Um, well, there's one other thing I want to make sure you see I've got uh, some different things with different cases. I'm going to change my layout here so it's easier for you to see. We've got learn and learn real big. So you want to go to language, click on this guess case for each word. That'll make it a little bit more powerful. It'll combine those things that uh, may have been, been given in different cases at the beginning. It'll combine them and uh, represent it the way it should. And then from here, you can uh, print screen if you're on PC or take a screenshot on a Mac and share it however you want. So there you go.